الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صاحب وسلم اما بیر حبت فلّہ Always remember that Allah Azza wa Jal can make easy your affairs. And that as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ فَإِنَّمَا عَلُوا سُرِي يُسْرَى إِنَّمَا عَلُوا سُرِي يُسْرَى That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, with every difficulty, there comes ease. Verily, with every difficulty, there comes ease. Letting us know that for every difficulty, there are two eases, as some of the Mufassireen explain. Letting us know, Wahhabi Tufillah, that we have to supplicate often to Allah Azza wa Jal. And while this bab is still open, these gates are still open for us, supplicate often to Allah Azza wa Jal to make your affairs easy. And we're often faced not just with difficulties, but difficulties from others, uh, difficulties from ourselves and difficulties at the hands of others. And when it comes to difficulties at the hands of others, Wahhabi Tufillah, And in, and in fact, in both situations, supplicate to Allah Azza wa Jal to make it easy for you. Supplicate to Allah to make it easy. And I had a situation my, myself this day where I had to deal with government authorities about uh, certain documents that I needed to obtain. And it's always a difficulty with, with them because of their lack of organization. But with my supplications, Allah made it easy for me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it verily easy. Uh, very easy for me and one of the supplications that you should supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with in this situation comes from the hadith uh, from Anas that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said O oh Allah there is nothing that is easy except that you made it easy and you can make this difficulty easy if you wish uh, if you wish to Allahumma la sahla Uh, oh Allah, there is nothing that is easy except that you made it easy. So here, here you are supplicating to your Lord. You're, 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 you're humbling yourself before Him, Subhana. You're opening up your chest in a, in a state of humility because knowing that you fully need a samad but he is not in need of you and you're supplicating to him and you're asking him directly <coughs> to make your affairs easy allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altuha ja'altuhu sahla o allah there is nothing that is easy except that you made it easy so here you're negating The fact that there is ease except with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you're giving all the might, all the authority back to Allah Azza wa Jal, the creator of the heavens and earth. The one who created la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The one who there is no might nor power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you're giving, you're, you're praising your Lord or you're recognizing his authority and you're, you're uh, negating that the fact that there will be ease without his permission and without his assistance, letting us know that, the, that the, we, we're, we're in need of him. We are, very, we are small creatures. We are minute and we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need him for all of our affairs. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altuhu sahla wa anta taj'alu al-huzna idha shitta sahla And you make this difficulty easy if you wish. So raise your hands up to the Lord of the heavens and earth and beg him and seek his assistance, seek his favor to help you in all of your affairs and may Allah make all of our affairs easy and good and may Allah help the Muslims everywhere may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify the situation of Ahlul Sunnah in Yemen and Ahlul Sunnah in Burma and Ahlul Sunnah in in uh, in Iraq and Ahlul Sunnah in Palestine and Ahlul Sunnah in Sham 
and all over the world, wherever they may be suffering, the Central African Republic, in Burundi, wherever the Muslims may be suffering, and wherever the oppressed are. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the oppressed that are non-Muslims and make their affairs easy in, in the state of Islam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.